Welcome to Trial Site News Investor Watch Roundup. My name is Adrian, and I'll be going over some of our top news stories from this past week. Blackstone has raised more all-purpose investment funds than any other private equity group in the United States. With the closing of Blackstone Life Sciences 5, this inaugural fund was oversubscribed and closed at $4.6 billion of total capital commitments. Blackstone just established itself as the king of life sciences investors. In generally hard times for many, vast pools of capital now compete for the most important clinical research breakthroughs. With this new class of competitor in drug development, should Big Pharma be nervous? Vaccine maker CanSino Biologics, at one point the leading vaccine developer in pursuit of a COVID-19 vaccine, continues to slip behind the competition. And recently, its co-founder and director announced the company's decisions with various countries to conduct a phase three clinical trial. While on the domestic front, the Chinese government has volunteered its military for an exclusive one-year use. The reality is that COVID-19 cases have gone down in that country where the pathogen originated from, due more than likely to lax wet market public health standards. Moreover, domestically, two other vaccines have moved into phase three, including Sinovac and a unit China National Pharmaceutical Group called Sinopharm. Hence, making the domestic field probably too crowded. Therefore, the companies look overseas and thus far only a few countries are even willing to entertain talking to them. Vanderbilt researchers have pivoted a great deal of research activity towards addressing the COVID-19 pandemic. Vanderbilt's Center for Technology Transfer and Commercialization, or CTTC, has accelerated its services to facilitate three option license agreements, 43 material transfer agreements, or MTAs, and the filing of 11 patent applications in record time. In what typically takes up to nine months, because of complex license agreement or up to three weeks for the MTA, now under the CTTS, Vanderbilt is cranking deals out in as few as 10 days or 24 hours respectively. A show of dedication to directing innovation with commercial potential to the collective effort of fighting COVID-19. Dr. J. Evans is making it rain up in Montana. Raining research money, that is. Trial Site News has reported on how this exceptional individual and his team, formerly part of a GlaxoSmithKline lab in Big Sky Country, transitioned to keep the research going in the area, in collaboration with the University of Montana's Center for Translational Medicine. Evans was part of the GSK lab, and the university pounced on the human capital upon GSK's departure. As part of a public-private maneuver, a spin-off called in Immune Corp was set up to hire the GSK talent up there. In late April, the team secured a $2.5 million grant from the National Institutes of Health, or the NIH, and just recently, Mr. Evans raised $22 million in Series A funding from Two Bear Capital, a new venture capital firm based in Whitefish, Montana. Dr. Evans makes good things happen. Thank you for watching another episode of the Investor News Watch Roundup. My name is Adrian, and I'll see you next time.